You live with Dallas Food Critic, and we at Terry Black's Barbecue out here in Deep Ellum. Fourth generation pit master. They came from Austin, Texas, and they done came and set up a location here in Dallas in Deep Ellum. I'm here excited to see what they are talking about, see what this barbecue hidden for, see if they really got that name to really come put a stamp in Dallas, Texas. You with Dallas Food Critics. Stay tuned. Off we go. And they unloading the truck right now. Fresh wood, stacking it up for the smoke pit. That's what, that's authenticity. That's what I want to see. I want to see that. When I pulled up, I was, I was amazed. It let me know that these pits are steady burning. Next, we finna go check out the smoke pits and let y'all know how they create this magic here at Terry's Blacks. They done gave Dallas Food Critic a little bit more access than the average cat, so I'm excited to find out. You on Bodyguard TV? Stay tuned. You back with Dallas Food Critic? At Terry Black's Barbecue, we're in the pit room where basically they smoke all the meats. The brisket, they told us they smoked that for 18 hours. We got the beef ribs, they told we smoked for about eight hours each. They look fantastic. I'm here with the pit master, Craig. Let's go chop it up with him and see if he can give us a little bit more detail. Craig, just gonna ask you a few questions with Dallas Food Craig. This is Craig, our amazing pit master here at Terry Black's in Dallas. Now, Craig, you were telling us about the post oak wood. What specific flavor does that give to the to the cuts of meat? Do you think, in your personal opinion? I don't. I think the smoke adds a lot to it. I think it's a lot of. Um, I think it's more the meat flavor. The smoke just adds to it. I think. Uh, I think the smoke helps helps out the meat a lot. Okay. Okay. What is y'all's most signature? Signature meat that y'all are most known for. I know the brisket's good, but what do you? That probably, yeah. I would say the brisket, the, the ribs that you just saw, the beef ribs is, is probably top notch too. But yeah, I, okay. I would say those too. And now uh, Craig was letting me know that Terry Blacks they have this in Tom Thumb. They're starting to be in the Metroplex, to where you can go to Tom Thumb and actually get you a taste of the delicious brisket that he's smoking. It's fantastic. About how many briskets do y'all smoke on a daily? Today we're doing 90. Uh, if you come here on a Friday or Saturday, we're doing about 120. Man, man, just think of that deliciousness going out. <laughs> and a beef, do y'all do beef and pork ribs? Y'all smoke them on a daily as well? Yes, sir, yeah. We'll do, uh, on, on the beef ribs, we'll do about 30 or 40 on the weekends, on Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, pork ribs will probably do about upwards around 60s on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Excellent, excellent. And you told me y'all came down Y'all debuted in Dallas in November of 2019, correct? Yes, sir, yeah. Yep. How's it been since y'all have been um, inducted into the city here in Deep Ellum? It's been a roller coaster with everything that's happened this year, uh, last year in 2020. Um, but we, I think our group that we have here is solid. It's, it, it's the best team I've ever worked with. Um, we made through all that. And once we hit uh, probably this past holiday season, we, everything's just been great ever since then. I, no I noticed y'all have a great camaraderie amongst the crew of everybody that works here, and I, I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's. I mean, everybody works as one. It's, it's the best crew I've ever worked with. There's um, seven of us in the pit room, and there's two more that trim, but we all work as one. Yeah. Okay. Excellent, excellent. I'm definitely excited to try more. I'm gonna go to the tasting part to where we can see exactly the finished product that these pits bring. You're with Dallas Food Critic. I'm with Craig. Craig, thanks once again for talking with us. Awesome. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Really appreciate it. Stay tuned. You're with Dallas Food Critic on Bodyguard TV. I 
appreciate Craig giving us that rundown, letting us know how that pit room works at Terry Black's, how they work as a unit, all the way to how long they're smoking the meat. I'm excited. Let's go further in depth. Stay tuned. One Dallas Food Critic. Cafeteria style setup. Terry Black's got those sides. From the potato salad to the coleslaw to the fresh green beans with the mac and cheese. The cream corn, baked beans, and Spanish rice. We're about to get right into it. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the um, pit master. Do his thing when it comes to slicing this meat. You a Dallas food critic. Stay tuned. First, let's start off with this brisket. Wow. Sliced up nice. You see the well marbling on the outside. They got that cracker crust. Boom, check it out. We're finna get us a lean cut and a marble cut. Check out that switch around. And this pit master got it going on with this slicing. Boom, giving y'all the real. Check that out, I can't wait. Next up, let's get to slicing these ribs. Pork ribs well seasoned. I was a win. Well, that slice work golden for that bit of I'm with it. Now, their signature entree this beef rib, a pound and a half. Wow, I've never seen something so massive. It's like dinosaur bones. Well, marble, boom, check that out. Uh, got the crust, the seasoned crust. Those bones are huge. Just holding that rib, it takes two hands. And that's what I'm talking about. Uh, check out that smoke ring. I'm so excited. With Dallas Food Critic, I'm always going to bring you that live lit every time. All right, next up, we got something special for your viewing pleasure. On top of this smorgasbord of barbecue goodies, we're about to interview the pit master himself, the person who personally cut all of these meats. Let's see what he got to say. Stay tuned. Dallas Food Critic. Back with Dallas Food Critic. And we're right here and we're with Jeremy at Terry Black's and this is the pit boss, the main man. And he said he's in charge of all proteins that come out of Terry Black's. That's from the ribs to the beef to the brisket. Jeremy, let us know um, what makes everything special here. Uh, it's just a time and uh, dedication that we put into this stuff. Um, I mean, we cook around the clock. It doesn't matter what time you come up here, there's always somebody up here cooking. Okay. Um, what, um, so I know that the brisket is signature. I just want to let everybody know that Terry Black's also, I was I was told that y'all are in Tom Thumb now to where everyone in the Metro Blitz can kind of get a taste of Terry Black. Yeah, we're in uh, a few a few uh, Tom Thumbs. Um, we're looking to expand on that as well. But yeah, all of our proteins are fully cooked in our Tom Thumbs and literally all you gotta do is just pop it in the oven and just bring it up to soon. Just, just to let y'all know, this is the pit boss. So if you do go to Tom Thumbs and try some Terry Blacks, he had a hand in it. I just want to put that little gem out here. With the sides here that we got, what would you say would be one of the best sides? I know they all look delicious, but kind of highlight something that you really want. To my my favorite side is the macaroni for sure, and then we got a few desserts and uh, the, uh, the banana pudding right here. He just brought me that and he told me. I Definitely got to check that out. That's his favorite. So we're going to give that a try. I'm definitely excited. Thank y'all, Jeremy, for having us here at Terry Black's. You with Dallas Food Critic, and we're going to definitely check it out and let y'all know the real on the delicious barbecue. Stay tuned. You're on Bodyguard TV. Thanks for watching. You back with Dallas Food Critic, and it's showtime. We're going to review the cream corn first. We're going to start off with some of these sides. Cream corn. Mm. 
definitely definitely very creamy extremely on the creamier side I don't taste a hint of anything else just basically corn and cream a little bit of sugar and some butter with a stripe not a super highlight though next we're gonna go to the mac and cheese a little bit on the creamier side Mmm. Creamy and cheesy. Delicious. I like it. Great compliment. Next, we're going to check out these green beans. Mmm. Mmm. Fresh. Fresh. It tastes steamed. Mmm. Crispy, this would taste just like a green bean. Probably add a little bit of salt and pepper, but it's a fresh side. We on the cold side next. Let's see what it's talking about. Okay. Mmm. Cold sauce kind of creamy. Definitely fresh vegetables in it. You can taste the crunch with every bite. That's like a fresher coleslaw. Not a coleslaw fan, but it's pretty good. Definitely worth trying. Next up, we rocking with the baked beans. Mm. Pretty good. They got some chop beef in them as well. Mm. More on the side of chili beans so I can taste the beef. It's a little bit more well done inside the beans, but not bad at all. The beef is a bit chunkier, but it's straight. Next, we're going to check out the potato salad. I think it's a little unique because I can taste the potato skin with the chunks of potatoes in it. So, adds a little bit more of a chewier potato salad. But it's pretty fresh, pretty creamy. I don't taste that much mustard in it, but it's on the lighter side. I think the potato skins with the potatoes add just a little bit more of a um, flair to it. It's pretty straight. All right. Dallas food critic and we're checking out the smoked turkey here. Check it out. Tender and moist. Delicious. You can definitely taste the smoke flavor in the turkey when you chew through it. So, but definitely tender, definitely moist. I'd like some smoked turkey from here. Something new. Not really a turkey guy, but hey. The other white meat, definitely delicious. Gotta rock with it. Next, we're gonna try the jalapeno cheddar sausage. Check this out. Looking on the inside, it already has some jalapeno and cheddar infused. Let's check it out, see what it's hidden for. Creaminess of the cheese blends well with the seasoning of the sausage. And it's crispy on the edges. A1. Yep. Next, we got the Terry Black Smoked Brisket. Check that out. Check the smoke ring out on the outside. That little crisp char on the edges. Falls right apart. Mm. Mm. This is great brisket. Texas barbecue. Mm. 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 Soft. It's like tender, like roast. A little bit of crispiness on the edges. Well seasoned. 
after I've been smoking for 18 hours, I can definitely taste it. Wow. Meat falls right apart, pulls right apart. Nothing tough. Look how it just slides. It's just like that. My God. Her brisket is phenomenal. Definitely got to take this one. Hey. Next up, we got the Terry Black Smoked Beef Rib. Look at this. It's colossal. Colossal. Now, let's see if it tastes as good as it looked. I mean, this is a pound. I could beat somebody up with this rib. <laughs> let's see what it's tasting like, though. Usually, you're supposed to eat a rib with your hands. When the bone is big. <laughs> Let's take a piece and see what it's hitting for. It's just pulling apart like, like, jeez. Dallas Food Critic is impressed. <laughs> Look at this, this is just pulled apart. I didn't even take a bite, just. Mm. You know how hard it is to get a beef rib tender? Um, it's amazing. Smoke, flavor, well seasoned. Smoke ring in full effect. You can see it's hitting, my God. But this is a brisket, oh my God, I'm just right there. But you can definitely taste the, the smoke flavor, seasoning with it, with the crispy edges. You can taste the smokiness of it, it's, it's amazing. Definitely hearty. I can't finish this, but definitely I would love to. My God. Beef rib, A+. Plus. Next. Back with Dallas Food Critic. Next, we're checking out the pork rib. Let's see what this is hitting for us. See what it's talking about. Mm, damn. As soon as I bite into it, it's just savory, moist. A little bit on the sweeter side. Wow. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. There's so much meat on the bone, but it's so good. It's just. <laughs> uh, we only need one or two ribs. This is delicious. Like I said, it's a little bit on the sweeter side. Nothing tough is about it. This ain't nothing tough. Wow. Definitely one of the best ribs I've had as far as smoking this goes. Very tender, very well. I mean, they got magic in their pit here at Terry Black. Definitely hot bro. But Dallas Food Critic and we are finna check out this banana pudding that they got on deck here. Let's see what it's talking about. Mm. Oh, wow. It's layered. Mm. Got a vanilla wafer on crunch. I'm with it. Mm. So we got a, a layer of pudding, wafer crumbs, and another layer of pudding. Back with Dallas Food Critic, another live lit review in the books. Terry Black's barbecue definitely brought the heat. All the way to that smoked brisket, going through to the pit room, seeing how they smoke the brisket, all the way to that beef rib. That beef rib rate a pound and a half, looked like two dinosaur bones. And they had the smoke ring, it was succulent, decadent, well seasoned, definitely recommend that spot. 
Dallas have been definitely bringing the heat as far as food goes. Let's go and see what we're going to go to next. I appreciate y'all tuning in to Dallas Food Critic. Go ahead and subscribe to your boy. And also, show, that, show Bodyguard TV some love too. You with Dallas Food Critic, always going to bring you live lit reviews. New reviews coming soon. Oh, she belongs to the streets.